the supply function qs is equal to f of b where a product is quadratic and three points which lie on the supply function are 60 and 2750 70 6, and they want us to determine the equation for the supply function make any observations you can about the restricted domain of the function compute the compute and interpret the p intercept and what quantity will be supplied at price of 75 so the supply is a function of the price q of s is equal to f of um, p now this function is um quadratic um quadratic um function and the um generic um equation gonna be f of t is equal to a p squared plus b p plus c so they give us um three points to um find the um quadratic um function quadratic equation so f of 60 is equal to 2750 the partner is equal to 60 squared so we use this um generic equation 60 squared a plus 60 b plus c and then we um, uh, multiply 60 times 60 is 3600 a plus 60 b plus c now the other point is f of 70 so it's equal to 6000 so 6000 plus 70 squared a plus 70 b plus c and 70 times 70 is 4900 a plus 70 plus c now the last point is 80 so f of 80 is equal to the partner 9750 is equal to 80 squared a plus 80 b plus c so this is equal to 9750 and then 80 times 80 is 6400 a plus 80 b plus c now they give us um um three points and we have three unknowns so we have to um solve that um unknowns and these are um simultaneous equations so we first um do this one f of 80 minus f of 70 so we subtract this um two to eliminate one of the unknown so we have f of 80 37 9750 equals 6400 a plus 80 b plus c now we subtract um um f of 70 6000 is equal to 4900 a plus 70 b plus c now we um subtract them because um to um we um eliminate the um one variable c because 9750 minus 6000 will become 3750 and 6400 a minus 4900 a is 1500 a and 80 b minus 70 b is 10 b but c minus c is zero so now we are left with two only two um variables so now we do the um f of um 70 minus f of um 60. so now this is f of 70 is 6000 equals 4900 a plus 70 b plus c now we subtract f of 60 which is 2750 equals 3600 a plus 60 a 60 b plus c now 6000 minus 2750 is 3250 4900a minus 3600a is 1300a plus 70 minus 60b is 10b and c minus c is um, 0. So we are only um, left with two um, variables. We eliminate one of them. So now we have um, two equation, this equation 3500. So we have this 3750. So now we have two equations. So it's 3750 equals 1500A. 
um, 1500a plus 10b. And the other equation is 3250 equals 1300a plus 10b. So now it's much um, simpler. So we can again um, subtract these um, two equations. So 3750 minus 3250 is um, 500 equals 1500a minus 1300a is just 200a. And then 10b minus 10b is 0. So now we only have one um, variable and we solve for a. So a, so we divide um, 200 to both sides of the equation. So my divide 200, okay. divide 200. So a is equal to 5 over 2. So now we have a, so 5 is equal to 5 over 2. So then we have um, 3750 is equal to, we plug in a. So 1500 times 5 over 2 plus 10b. So to find, then we solve for b. So we have 3750 equals 1500. Um, So we have 1, 5 over 2, so 5 divided 2 equals times 1500 equals 3750. So this is 3750 plus 10b. So now we subtract minus 3750 minus 3750. So this is 0 equals 10 over b. Then we solve for b, divide 10, divide 10, b is equal to 0. So now we solve for b, so b is equal to 0. Then we um, find c. To find c, we, have, we can use any of the um, three equations. So then find c. This is then find B. So we solve for B. Now we find C. So we can use any of the equation. And let's use um, this equation. So 9750 um, equals 6400A plus 80B plus C. Now we know what A and B is. So now we have 9750 equals 6400A is equal to 5 over 2 plus 80 times B is 0 plus C. So now this is equal to, so 5 over 2. So 5 divide 2 times 6400 equals 1600 plus 80 times 0 is 0. So now we have, we subtract 1600 minus 1600. So 9750. 9750 minus 1600 equals 6250. So minus 6250 equals C. So now we also find C. So now we can um um we can write the um formula now. So so the um the equation is qs is equal to f of p 
it's equal to a is equal to 5 over 2 b squared minus plus um, 0 p and minus 60 to 50 or this is um, we'll simplify to 5 to p squared minus 60 to 50 so this is the um, answer for a So now B, they want us to make some, uh, make any observation you can about the restricted domain of the function. So it's a good thing to graph the um, function, so it's always good to graph it. So this is f of p and this is p. And we know that um, the p intercept, it's gonna be, we calculated that it's minus 60 to 50. So right about here. And it's minus 60 to 50 so we have this um function f of p equals 5 over 2 p squared minus 60 to 50 and when p is 0 then it's minus 60 to 50 so that's the um, um f p intercept so we have to find the um two zeros so find the zeros and we set this equal to zero so zero is equal to 5 to p squared minus 60 to 50 and this is equal to zero equals 5p we multiply everything by um, 2 to get rid of the fraction So we, we multiply by 2 to get rid of the fraction. So 2 times 0 is still 0. And this 1, 2 over 2 cancelled. And 2 times 60 to 50 is 12,500. Um, 12, so this is multiplied by 2. So now we solve for P. So we add. So plus 1,200 plus 12. 500 so now we have 12 500 equals 5 p squared then we divide by 5 so divide 5 divide 5 so now we have so we have 12 5 divide 5 equals 2500 so 2500 is equal to p squared now we take the square root or the um of both of them so p is equal to plus and minus 50. so the two roots are is it this is minus 50 and this is plus 50. so now we can um draw the um function then it go up there so observation now um, P the price must be in uh, must be positive supply and must be greater than zero you can't have negative um, supply so that's the observation so P must be positive it can't be negative it can't be here so uh, only positive positive supply and 
must be greater than zero. So the domain gonna be p is greater than or equal to 50. So this is the only valid um, values. Great, um, p is greater or equal to 50. So this is um, um, B. So this is B. Now let's do C. So C, compute and interpret the P-intercept. We already um, compute the um, um, P-intercept. So this is C. The P-intercept is P equals p equals 50 so the supply here is zero is zero so no supply will be made if p is less than 50 so d what quantity will be supplied at a price of 75? So we just plug in 75. So f of p, this is our function, over 2, p squared, minus 62, 50. So f of $75 is equal to 5 over 2 times 75, minus 62, 50. So this is equal to 5 over 2 times 75 times 75 is 5625 minus 6250. So this is equal to, we get rid of the, um. so with 5 times this divide 2. So this is equal to. So. 5 divided 2 equals times 56 25 equals 14 so this is equal to 14,062.5 minus 62.50 so we subtract minus 62.50 equals 78 1, 2.5 so this is f of 75 so they will supply 78 7812 so run out we can there's no um really decimal so they can so we have to round up to 7813 will be supplied at a price of $75 so that's that's D so we did them all